Hey, so this is our third night at this new property and um, I'm mosquito netted up and putting gloves on because mosquitoes are bad tonight. It's barely any wind. Um, you know, past few weeks we had some rain every once in a while and it's just humidity is killing us. But uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll try it again tonight, third time. Hopefully we'll see something tonight and can uh, pop a few. Uh, otherwise we'll keep an eye on the wheat field and we have in this direction actually a pretty big uh, corn field um, and neighboring milo field and further down here another milo field. It's a very good environment for hogs. They have everything they need here. They have plenty of water sources, there's tanks all over the place, mud holes all over the place, plenty of food sources, corn, milo, um, there's, it's perfect. I, I have a feeling we'll see quite a few more hogs over the next few months here, now being able to, to uh, move around much, much freer, um, I think it should give us an advantage. But um, yeah, let's, let's pack up. We have our Iberly stocks here and, and Chris's uh, ranger in the back. Um, Chris is actually, um, he has the uh, Iberly stock uh, up ranger. I need to look it up. I think it's called the up ranger, but um, it's pretty neat, perfect for, um, for our needs because we have all this camera equipment with us. Um, the unique part about this one is that the back side of that backpack is actually uh, a polymer um, cover so it's meant to be put on the ground on this on this side and you actually open it up uh, on the side where you where you would holster or where, you sh where your shoulder straps are it's pretty interesting we also have that um, sidewinder AR uh, case on here and that, that um, uh, thermal scoped AR even my suppressor fits in there perfectly and then I'm, I'm uh, carrying the um, Eberly stock half track pack um, also for my purposes um, perfect I have two big pockets left and right one I can put my uh, tripod in the other one will actually uh, holster my uh, Remington Tech 13 so um, and we're not sponsored or something by Eberly stock I'm really convinced just that this is a really good product um, I like those backpacks I'm glad I stumbled across them and uh, I can I can vouch for them and for their quality. So again, there's no sponsorship here. They're not a partner of us or something, but um, we just like the Eberly stock packs. So anyways, let's get going. I'm gonna grab my ACR. I just got it uh, back from ATX Armory. Uh, Justin did a uh, very nice uh, Cerakote job on it. I went simple with just two-tone, but it's the Cerakote Elite um, coating. So it's a little bit more durable. It's supposed to wash off pretty easily and um, I'm pretty excited. It's just a, uh, two gray tones basically I kept it pretty simple but um, I like it and uh, yeah I got a 404 640 on top it's a two and a half base magnification um, that seems to be the sweet, sweet sweet spot for me and for for us um, just the type of hunting we do how we like getting close to them um, so the two and a half is a, is a good compromise you have plenty of field of view for follow-up shots and you know panning um, but you also have enough of a zoom um, so you can take these 100, shot, 100 yard shots, 150 yard shots um, easily. Um, and then uh, Chris is shooting the uh, 6.5 Grendel. It's an AR-15 by ATX Armory. Um, got the uh, orange and uh, light gray paint job on it. Some folks say it's a Nerf blaster. <laughs> but um, it's the Thor HD 640 on top. Um, so not the Thor 4, but the Thor HD. Uh, also in a 2.5 uh, base mag. So. Anyways, let's, uh, let's roll out, um, let's try to avoid the mosquitoes as good as we can and then uh, shoot some hawks. About 45 minutes after this raccoon showed up, we have a boar coming on the left side of this tank. And since the weeds are so tall, he was about to disappear pretty quick, so we took a shot.
So it's 11.15 and uh, we just shot a boar and uh, he went down. I mean, I, I could see him go down behind some grass. I'm like, I wasn't quite sure if he um, continued to walk or not. But um, as we just you know, went around the corner, he was laying just on the ground and um, lots of blood out of his snout. Uh, looked like a lung shot and um, he, it didn't take him long to expire. So um, no action for the tag 13 right now. But uh, I mean, man, I'm, I just get I just got eaten up by mosquitoes back to, uh, next to that tank. It was bad. I mean, I'm wearing this mosquito net, which I actually am pretty happy about. I bought that a while ago. It's perfect because I have this thing here, which I can actually even put over the scope and I can continue, um, you know, scouting and stuff. So it's, it's perfect. But where they're getting me is here on my elbows, here on my shoulders, everywhere where there's no gap in between mosquito net, um, shirt underneath, and then skin. Chris is next to me, five feet, and he had th maybe three bites. I don't know, I'm, I'm probably at like 20 or something. My arms are super itchy um, everywhere. Uh, so I don't know what it is about me. Um, same thing when I'm sitting with my wife. My wife always jokes that I'm her best uh, mosquito repellent. So must be the German blood maybe, I don't know. That bores down, we'll go get him later. Um, I wanted to get away from the water uh, hole because uh, I'm going insane with these mosquitoes. So we're gonna go probably take a ranger here. Uh, we're gonna go up this way. Um, that's where this big cornfield is and I'm sure there's hogs in there right now. Um, the question will be how, how close are they to the edge? Um, can, we, can we see any uh, on, on the edge of the field or not? Um, will they be disturbed by the ranger? Uh, I don't know. We'll try to stay as far away from the field as possible, but um, I'm lazy right now. I want to take this instead of walking up there. So we'll do that. Um, there's the, the Milo field, there's the wheat field over there. So I think we'll just use the ranger a little bit and change locations and see if we can spot some in those fields. So for now we have one on the ground. Um, and uh, maybe we can we can change that. Otherwise, uh, I don't I don't mind calling it a night at some point because my arms are on fire from those the mosquitoes, and uh, it's also disgusting because it's 84 degrees. Feels like 92 degrees. Um, it only says 70 percent humidity, but it feels much worse. So I'm complaining while our friends from uh, Rogaru Hawk Control and Louisiana, Shane and those guys, uh, they probably have it much worse, you know. Probably the humidity is much worse, the swamp and whatnot, and uh, so uh, probably can't complain, but it's still terrible. I don't care what those guys are going through, it's still terrible down here. It still doesn't make our situation any better, so, but somebody has to do it, so might as well be us. Right. Let's uh, load up and uh, see if we can find some more hogs. Been scanning that wheat field on our way back down. We discovered two bucks here and the boar further in the back. So we're following two tracks made by uh, heavy farm equipment which pushed down some of that wheat. So that gave us an opportunity to uh, get closer now without making too much noise. As we're getting closer, we also realized that further to the left, um, maybe about three, four hundred yards out, um, is another boar. Uh, so at this point, wind direction, everything, 
we decide to uh, continue our approach to the boar we uh, discovered first. Um, so we, we, we try to get closer, maybe between 80 and 60 yards if we could. Uh, that would be our preference. So finding that one over there would be interesting. Those are some cutters right there, my friend. Mess you up and do our dog. Look how tall this stuff is again. Look at that, another one of those. Holy crap. Three times, I think, huh? Oh, yeah. Maybe twice. Dang, look at this guy. All right, we are finishing a uh, triple trip <laughs> to this place. We've been out here now three times. Uh, first time we uh, took a boar. Second time, uh, nothing on, on this new property, but just a neighboring property, really, literally just one property over, actually two properties over, but same vicinity and uh, it's all the same bunch. Um, shot a boar. Uh, he was a decent sized. Uh, Jin took that one. And now the grand finale tonight, um, third time we're coming out, triple boars. Decent ones, especially this guy here. Um, honestly, looking through the thermal, I didn't even realize how big he was. I, I thought he was just a normal size. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's strange sometimes you see something in the thermal and think it's a giant hog and then you shoot it and you get to it and like, huh, hmm, this is actually smaller than anticipated. This time, uh, he was out in the field by himself, two deer next to him, two bucks actually, and yeah. one of them looked decent for how early it is in the season. It's end of, oh, it's beginning of July, we just had Independence Day. He was there. Um, we make our way up uh, or down there um, 
and uh, we were lucky the beet field wasn't as, as noisy. There was a, uh, the farmer just had um, big machinery out and there was a good track in the, in the ground. Um, so we just followed that track and he was literally just down that track. Yep. Perfect, right? Um, so we were able to get close to him, 70, 80 yards. Uh, we both shoot, uh, both hit. He goes down right away. Uh, he didn't move um, any further. And then this guy over here, and I don't think you can see on the video um, the cutters this guy has, but he actually had, he has bigger cutters than this guy, but both of them have significant tusks. Um, talking about uh, the owner and her dogs, how they were messed up beginning of this uh, beginning of June by hogs, all four of them, and they you know they go out in the pack and they they hunt these hogs basically, and sometimes take one down. Well, this didn't turn out as good for them uh, beginning of June, and they all came back and they were all cut up. Looking at those ta tusks, yeah, no wonder they were cut up. I mean, there's a good good chance that maybe one of them even you know is the culprit uh, in this case, but I haven't seen cutters like this for quite some time now, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, so you said, what was your guess? How 280. Heavy? 280? Yeah, I think you, you, you might be onto something. He was definitely, like, way heavier than yeah. this guy. Um, he's beefy, look at, mm -hmm. you know, how white he is. Giant uh, head. And just looking at him, really, I mean, also from this angle, it's kind of interesting from the back. Yeah. He doesn't look like he has a lot of domestic in him. He has a very long head, very long snout. Um, he would be a good one to mount, to be honest. Crazy. This one, he was off to our side when we, when we shot this one. So we knew that there was another boar uh, to our left, and he was probably 150 yards out. Um, and I was wondering what he would do once, once we go after this guy. Um, so we shoot him, uh, look over to my left, and here he comes running, uh, not towards us, but towards the, the tree line in the back, uh, but in an, in an, at an angle where he actually came closer to us. And I was already in zoom, I was in 3.9 magnification, and uh, he gave me a good opportunity. He was clear of the deer, and uh, so I went for it. I think I did two or three shots and uh, had two or three hits, so. He's shooting. He uh, goes down, disappears in the, in the regrown weed pretty quick, but um, we were able to find him. And I'm so glad that yeah. you bought this yeah. Polaris Ranger and you, uh, you took it out tonight because having that, being able to you know, hop from one property to the next and then uh, you know, use that to, to um, pull these hogs together, what a difference, man. Yeah, yeah I, it didn't take that long to load them up. No, I uh, do not like dragging these hogs no. across those fields all the time. No. Uh, especially this dude. Good, yeah. good luck tr uh, dragging him across a wheat field like that. We wouldn't be here right now taking this video if we wouldn't have that, that ranger with us tonight. So that was a huge help. And um, yeah, I think this is, this is a good tool for, for this area. Yes, sir. If we have multiple properties close by, it's, um, it's a huge help. So thanks, brother. Thank you, sir. Texas Yacht. And uh, if you guys like those videos, make sure you subscribe and give us a thumbs up. If you have any feedback, uh, comments are always welcome. And we'll see you next time. This ground is hard. I know. <laughs>